So now in this video, um, I didn't really have anything planned. I came across this uh, 10 watt resistor, so I thought I would uh, make a video on it. It's uh, five ohms right there. So um, when it comes to the size of the component, that's the main determinant and in its wattage. So that is 10 watts. This is a one quarter watt. This can dissipate about 40 times as much heat as that one right there. And um, so the heat that's generated um, when it comes to resistors is the voltage across the component times the current going through it. So if that was one amp times five volts, that would be five watts, which is about the maximum power we actually want to put to this. Even though it's 10 watts for its rating, um, you'd probably want to like blow air on it, find ways to like cool it and stuff because that's kind of pushing its limit. So we're going to stay like halfway. We should be safe uh, no matter what. And that's only a quarter watt uh, right there. So ultimately this can put a lot less current through it uh, under most situations and of course the power supply is off it's not even attached to the resistor so no currents flowing through it that's the maximum current i have set to uh, go through here so we have a potential if i screw something up of uh since there's 1.1 1 .1 amps of current that may flow through this resistor of it uh, reaching 5.5 watts um but uh, again, that's off. Now I have the backlight off just because, uh, you know, this uh, lighting situation seems to wash out what's on the resistor. I don't think that looks as good. Actually, now that uh, we have, uh, you know, looked at the resistor in detail, we will just do it with this lighting. Now it's easier to see the display. Uh, but I'm going to turn uh, the power on. But again, it's not attached to the resistor. So uh, nothing is happening. I can put positive on either side. Doesn't matter. The uh, chemistry of what uh, this is on here is not semiconductor uh, chemistry. And uh, so it's going to pass current the same either way. And uh, yeah, there you can see. So it's a little bit lower. Um, you know, kind of depends how I have these alligators uh, clips attached. And um, so, you know, we're probably adding like a little bit of resistance. Also, that may not be exactly 5 ohms. And uh, the output also may not be getting exactly five ohms to it for different reasons but yeah there you can see about one amp so that was the maximum we set that's uh pretty much the actual current flowing through there not as accurate as a multimeter uh but uh, pretty accurate um so basically one amp of current right now we got about uh, five watts so yeah these larger resistance or uh, resistors they can handle a lot more current for the most part than smaller uh, resistors if we had a five ohm quarter watt uh, resistor we could not put anywhere near uh, one amp of current through it. It would get too hot. We needed all this extra surface area to uh, dissipate the heat. That is the main thing. So, yeah, not uh, very complicated, um, but it is uh, kind of an important thing to understand when you are building circuits. When you start getting to where uh, you're, it's mostly the current um, that uh, becomes a problem when it comes to wattage as you... Uh, need uh, more current flowing through stuff then um, you know they tend to start overheating usually you also need more voltage to get that accomplished anyways you know so um, but uh, sometimes you got a relatively high voltage but uh, you know it doesn't really need any current um, so it doesn't matter the uh, wattage isn't that high um, but yeah there you can see we cut uh, the voltage in half right there the resistance is the same and so current went in half but um now uh before we had five volts one amp that was five watts now we have 2.5 volts which is half the voltage we got half of the current uh right there and um we do not have half the wattage because it's voltage times current so that went down and that also went down and uh, so we're going to end up this is going to be about a quarter you know so like what is that like one point uh, two five or something uh watts that we will have yeah that's what it is because there you can see 2.5 and half of that is uh 1.25 i actually did that math uh, right uh just kind of mentally and uh so as you raise uh voltage wattage you know more current will go through the resistor if you're using a resistor component you get more voltage across it uh wattage goes up very rapidly and uh so i Actually, didn't burn myself, but I really felt the heat from this resistor. So I kind of got away quickly. They uh, get that hot. Now, um, the quarter watt resistor, 
Um, sometimes like I grab it right away when I got it about half of its wattage rating, but you can see it's very small right there. So, so I get a, you know, pretty strong burning uh, feeling usually, but, um, my skin like quickly cools down the resistor because now I got like more uh, surface air. It can only heat my skin uh, so much, um, because it's a lower wattage, whereas this can keep applying heat, a lot of heat for a long time. And uh, so you could get a serious burn with these big ones, but these little ones you probably won't, even if you grab them when, when you're hot. It will hurt, but probably won't be like a, a serious burn. And uh, in any case, yeah, simple video. I didn't have one plan. I'll try to make a little more complex video next time and then more one uh, complex ones. Hopefully I'll make a few videos today. Um, but yeah, for now, it's just a simple one. You got these resistors. Let's turn that power off. And I'm not keeping it on the unit there because, again, it gets so hot, it, uh, good chance it could uh, melt that uh, plastic. This is a uh, concrete uh, resistor, and uh, there's some kind of filling in there. Not sure exactly what it is. Probably a type of concrete um, that you can pour or something. Um, but in uh, any case, they can dissipate uh, quite a bit of heat. And um, so... You, you see them for like uh, higher wattage uh, resistors. There's also metal ones and stuff. The metal ones, uh, I'm guessing, they can dissipate heat even better. So they might be a little bit smaller if they're at 10 watt right there. Material makes a difference, but uh, mostly it is the size. So when main takeaway is when the resistors you got, they can't handle the the power demands the wattage but you really like the value of resistance 220 ohms in this case but you're going to need more current um you may grab the same uh, resistance resistor but in a larger package right there then it can get more current flowing through it without overheating but again try to stay below half of its wattage rating so again not terribly exciting, but important information if you are building electronic circuits and stuff as the power starts going up from the very small basic circuits. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.